Alright, welcome back YouTube fans. I'm going to call this one my uh, trick or treat segment. Well, for you uh, guys that actually uh, have a old school small block Chevy, you'll know what I'm talking about. The difference between a long and short water pump. Well, really the difference is to me what side the alternator winds up on. Usually with a short water pump, the alternator will wind up on the driver's side. With long water pump, usually it winds up on the passenger side. And the aftermarket industry kind of goes with that. But if you actually have a short water pump and have an issue with putting your alternator uh, either lower down on the driver's side, or up top on the driver's side. They make tons of brackets for that. But, not that you can really tell this is a short water pump, but it is a short water pump. And I had to put my alternator on the passenger side. Now, they do make a handful of brackets to do this. Um, the one that I thought would work was about 180 bucks. So I thought that time it was kind of pricey, so I figured out a way to uh, kind of do my own. And this is kind of what I did, and this way if anybody ever needs it, this is what you can do. Um, now if you're looking at, actually we use this bracket up top here. This bracket actually is a long water pump alternate bracket for the pass uh, for the passenger side it's the one that goes lower that bolts to the two bolts that hold the water pump on to the block well I had this particular bracket and I kind of noticed that the two bolts bolt holes actually the one up here and the one down here kind of lined up with not that you can see it really that great with the bolt holes on the cylinder head. So I was like, hmm, let me see if I can turn that thing around. Here's a better shot of one. Let's see if I can get it to bolt up. Well, it kind of did. So then I thought, it's like, hmm, maybe I can just buy a couple of those spares. And sure enough, Mr. Gasket actually had those sold separately. So when I got them, I lined it up with the cylinder head holes and... Lo and behold, didn't really actually kind of fit. <laughs> so, the spacing between this hole and this hole was different on the new brackets. So I just had to take this hole and kind of ground it out a little bit. Actually, this way. And make it fit the cylinder, which was very, very small effort. Didn't really miss it by much, but there was a difference. So, those brackets are under 12 bucks each now that's only part of the battle the other battle is just getting the spacing right well the you can get you know tubes anywhere but I was trying to kind of make it look kind of shiny I guess so Mr. Gasket actually has um, what they just called uh, God chrome chrome sleeves and I think four and a half inches long. I forget what it is from, from them originally. But I got two of those. One here. One down here. And I actually had one old one. Um, when I actually had the long water pump on. So I had, I had a spare. So I only had to buy two. But they're under seven bucks each. So with that, if you had to actually do this all over... You can get three of those and be definitely enough to do what you need to do. Three of these, and again, you really don't have to get three. You can only get two. But if you noticed, I kind of made this one work because of the angle that I needed to put this piece. If I didn't use something that kind of curved up, sorry about that, curved up like this, it would hit the alternator when I pulled the alternator to adjust the tension. Now... When I put that bracket on, it seemed to work in two pieces, or two areas, I should say. One here, and then down here. It helped 
it helped actually brace on here so this way the bracket itself would move to a certain point and then stop because down here and I'd get the tension I needed now if you look here I kind of wanted to eventually chop this off but like everything else that's like a last minute afterthought and haven't gotten to it yet but I will I'll probably make it a little cleaner on now the only piece that was a little expensive was this piece right here that piece alone was 42 bucks so if you actually add up everything I bought with that piece you're talking like 90 bucks now it's half the price of the other bracket probably would have saved a few minutes but it really didn't take that long to to set this up so time wasn't really an issue but if you wanted to do it like for under 50 bucks you can kind of you know if you're creative and maybe have a welder you can probably make a bracket here with some you know hymen joints on it not to help with the setting the tension and stuff but long story short you could do this very cheaply and save yourself some money if you ever found out that you needed needed to do this the hardest thing is really kind of getting this those chrome spacers correct to make sure the belt lines up appropriately it's good i've spun this motor up you know to well i hate to say it about eight grand by accident uh long story short the trans went and slipped and motor tech sky high and blew blew a head gasket as well so but getting back to why i needed to do this if you look on this side i don't want to get too much into light and it's actually hard to see maybe if i scroll out here well long story short the because of the way this blower is designed, it's the um, Blower Shop 192. Uh, to get that size blower, they actually had to put a lot more of the spacing of the blower up front. So they had to relocate the water, uh, the water neck, to lower down. Usually it's up high, and maybe it's hard to see. Yeah, you can't really see it. But they had to put it in front. So that kind of put the hose right where the I believe the belt would have wound up and also I've got power steering again not that you can see it great but and then again the alternator on this side would have kind of in my opinion be in the way when I need to fill that thing or check it or anything now when you're doing this build two things you have to watch out for if you can kind of see it the spacing between the valve cover and the alternator itself is probably three quarters of an inch maybe an inch and then the other area you have to watch down here by the uh, the A arm for most vehicles it's probably not a problem I know Corvettes I've read a post about that more expensive bracket that Putting it right about there hits the A arm on a, it. Was, I think it was an '82 Corvette. So you got to watch that. Now, if you had shorter valve covers, you might not have had to put the alternator this far out. So going to the you know hitting the A arm might not be a problem too much. But with the taller valve covers, it's somewhat of a problem actually. When I have to actually put the belt on, that valve cover's got to be off. So this way I can kind of put the belt on. And then set the tension. So that's the kind of trick or treat tip for you that you can actually put the alternator on the passenger side on a small block Chevy with a short water pump and not have really a problem. Just have to be a little creative. So hopefully that. Um, Helped you guys. I know it's a, not a common thing you need to do anymore, but this blower, I think you might need to do that. Alright, until next time, have fun.